Wow Borneo, a cruise company in central Kalimantan, is giving back to the local community by contributing funds and resources to a school in the Petuk Kantimpun village. The school has nearly doubled in size since the cruise ship company started working with them in 2007. Petika Timpun is about 70 kilometers north of Palangkaraya, central Kalimantan's capital city. The village is home to about 215 people, and they only have electricity from 6 to 12 p.m. Wow Borneo brings tourists to this village to learn about local culture. During these visits, the company's tour guides realized while young kids in Jakarta were playing with smartphones, many children in this village were unable to read. The little school called Rancho Buku is a is a is a foundation which which was inspired by one of our former former guides on board, who who realised um, how how poor the education was for some of the the village children along the route. So she she had she had a wonderful idea in which she would visit the village along with her friends from university and they would read to the children in that village. With that initial concept has grown, but it's, an, it's, it's, um, its aim is still the same. Iul, the village's chief, runs the school. He says government funding was not enough to educate the village's children. Teachers were not coming to work because most of them come from Palangkaraya, about a two-hour commute down a barely drivable road. Yeah, so we helped uh, to give them some donation like a books and a facility in the inside of the building like a library and then we also give them uh, extra hour school and then we teach about um, cultural things and also English language and we also uh, work with uh, like carpets or trash management they uh, collecting the plastic bags out there, collecting the plastic bottles, and we uh, teach them how to use it to re recycle things, recycle papers. Also, they will do it into a, like a dolls from plastics, like that. Ferry Irwan, Iul's son, and the first person from the village to earn a bachelor's degree, says his classes at the cultural center encourage children to pursue their education because many of them stop going to school after fifth grade. He hopes one day his students will take over the center and continue educating his village. He shows his dedication to his work by regularly updating the school's Facebook page, which requires a 15-minute drive down the road that deters teachers from coming to work where he can get cell phone reception.